The plan of God is for man to marry at the right time, then multiply the earth. God instituted marriage as a replica of his relationship with the church. Among other reasons, marriage was meant to fill up the vacuum on earth after the creation of Adam. He was alone and it was necessary to provide him a helpmeet. Eve was brought into the picture and from there they established a family. They had the bond, intimacy, selflessness for each other because God brought them together and established their marriage. Sex has a lot of impact on man both spiritually, emotionally and physical. The ignorance of this fact has led to its abuse by both married couples and singles. One reason God wants you to have sex is to be fruitful and multiply the earth. Just as he told Adam and Eve, the only way man can reproduce and fill the earth is to engage in intercourse with the opposite sex legally. The abuse of sex came when men started having sexual relations with just anyone. They didn't follow the right plan of God in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 which says, Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall become one flesh. When believers follow this divine plan, God will honor their union, but anything outside this is sin. The impact of sex as noted in scriptures is that those who engage in sex are no longer two but one flesh. There is an established bond uniting them together emotionally and spiritually. Sex is a mystery and God wants you to do it with the right person and at the right time, as it is written in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 which says, To everything there is a time and a season, a time for every purpose under the heavens. Dear friend, even as regards sex, there is a stipulated time for that to happen. There is specific time to meet your life partner. All these have been mapped out in God's calendar. You need to know the plans and settings God has for you so that you can be guided. As singles, you feel you are missing something from not having sex. You see others engaging in sexual immorality and there is nothing negative happening to them. Sometimes your friends try to pressurize you into joining their sexual escapades and you are almost losing patience. I want you to be strong and allow God guide you through this phase of life. Any mistake at this point in your life will have a negative impact in years to come. Beloved, God doesn't want you to engage in fornication and adultery. Aside the risk of going to hell if you die in your sins, there are negative spiritual and physical impact of fornication on your soul, body and spirit. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committed fornication sins against his own body. Your body becomes polluted after you engage in fornication. You violate the sacredness and consecration of your body. The body even in marriage is meant to be holy unto God because the Holy Spirit dwells therein. Anything sinful done with the body outside the plan of God causes impurity. God wants you to have sex but not through fornication. The Bible gave a remedy to fornication. It is recorded in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 2 which says, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. This is the plan of God for mankind. When you stick to your God-given partner, you abstain from fornication. You cleave to and love your spouse as Christ loved the church. The fact that some people have cleaved to their spouse doesn't make them committed to their marriage. To the married who still engage in extramarital affairs, this is a sin called adultery. You are messing up your temple and God is not happy with that. The devil has plans to greatly make man fall into the trap of sin and end up in hell. He focuses on the weaknesses of some people and uses it against them. After keeping yourself pure till marriage, you need to be faithful to your spouse. You need to be sexually committed to one person. There has been a release of a high sexual urge and perversion from the pit of hell to earth, and those who are ignorant have fallen into the trap of the enemy. They have sold their matrimonial bed with blood from a stranger. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 says, Give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another in marriage. God will surely judge people who are immoral and those who commit adultery. Many homes are separated because of this. The lack of contentment and self-control has increased the rate of adultery among the married. The painful thing about adultery is that it is committed with singles most of the time. This is a double sword in the hand of the devil to increase the rate of fornication and adultery on earth. As a married man or woman, God has given you the privilege to get married. Why not focus on being faithful and build your home? 
having prayed for a life partner and God has answered your prayer, remain committed to your spouse. God didn't create you to have multiple partners. The bond established during sex will have an impact in your life and that of your children. Engaging in fornication and adultery exposes your life to the attacks of the devil. Your life becomes a ground for demonic manipulations. Then, when the devil sees a life polluted with sin, it becomes a legal ground for an attack. The devil planted the thoughts of fornication and adultery in your heart so that he can have a foothold in your life and family. A dangerous effect of engaging in adultery and fornication is that it leads to other sins. Many singles and married ladies have engaged in abortions in order to hide their shame and sinful acts. They go ahead to waste an innocent life. This act alone is called murder. The regret and pain it will cause on your life is out of this world. There will be an emotional instability because the memory of that act will hunt you for life. There was a story of a lady who happened to be a chorus leader back then in church. She was pretty, industrious and focused in life but surprisingly she was not in a relationship. She had friends who were married and some were still searching for a life partner. It never got her worried. A period came when she started praying and trusting God for a life partner. She never gave up in her quest for a godly man, but the devil came up and influenced her friends to give her a demonic advice. She was persuaded to try out other men who were dying for a relationship but not married. She struggled with that advice, but their persuasion led her to act according to the devil's choice. She got engaged to a man who was later known to be a womanizer. After three months in courtship, he demanded for sex at any given opportunity. She stood her ground not to defile herself until marriage. This act persisted. She shared her concerns with the wrong people again. They advised her to go ahead, assuring her that sex will make him committed and marry her at the long run. She forgot her background as a Christian. She never recalled that God was against premarital sex. Unfortunately, she succumbed to the pressure and engaged in premarital sex. After that act, it looked as though she was drowned in sexual perversion. This lady who had self-control lost it on the bed of immorality. She acquired a negative spirit that made her desire sex with any man. It was so that within six months she had slept with ten men. Her case was critical because her friends abandoned her in that state. She became lonely and regretted every step she took. She cursed the day she followed the advice of her friends. At this point, she started searching for help and obviously it was only God that can perform a miracle in her life. Her story was heartbreaking because in her quest to find help, she gave in to the thoughts of suicide and that was the end. Dear friend, one thing to note about this story is that premarital sex made room for the spirit of sexual perversion to take root in her life. The act of premarital sex gave pleasure for a short time but its impact lasted for years. Once you engage in the wrong sex, it becomes difficult to stop the urge for more. You lose your self-control at that moment, you become worse than a halot. Dear friend, God doesn't want you to go through this. He has a good future ahead for you to follow. You mustn't leave in shame, despair, sorrow, emotional trauma and other lies of the devil. Choose the old pathway made by Jesus Christ and let him guide you through to a better life. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. God cannot deny his children of anything that glorifies his name. He wouldn't hide happiness from our lives. He created sex for a time, for a purpose, and before you enjoy this gift, you must walk according to his plans. Don't go against the rule guiding marriage, sex, and purity. The thoughts of God towards you are of good and not of evil, not a plan to damage your future or a decision that will cause regret. Unlike the devil, whose plans is to steal, to kill, and destroy. God is here to make you great and establish you in all things pertaining to life and godliness. Just as the Bible says, wait on the Lord. Beloved, wait. If this video has blessed you, please like, subscribe and share with someone.